everyone, and welcome back as always. We're back again. Hi. Hi. I can't believe we're finally here. Yeah, here. So yeah, we are going to be watching Sozin's oh. Comet Part 1. Oh, wow. Ooh, the mm -hmm. Comet's the coming. King. Comet's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So I saw this when it first came out, and it was still in episode mode where it was in four parts. But okay. I think it was also a movie. The animation, I think, is a little better. And I don't know if any of you like saw a movie or they made it into a movie later, but I only have the individual episodes. And because we're watching so many things, we're still just going to do it once a week. Oh, and God. because I really do love this show and I try to prolong it as much as we can, I really don't <laughs> think it ruins the experience because we really have fun and everything we watch, we talk about it and it kind of builds it up even more for the following yeah. week. Mm -hmm. So even though it is a movie, yes, we can enjoy it differently, maybe even more so. Okay. But I think the way we've been doing it is just the same. And we watch shows that have major cliffhangers, so we can handle it. It's hard sometimes. We can handle we it. We don't really want to handle watch it. Watch it. Right, yeah. <laughs> and also, they're giving us the in parts, so we're not, you know, mm -hmm. we have it in the right parts. Yeah. Right. I don't remember exactly, like, how each part is separated, so I don't okay. know if it ends on a cliffhanger or not, but I think they're Most fine just to watch his episodes. Okay. But I love what you all have to say. We always listen to you guys. There's certain comments certain videos where you won't read comments just because I know some people just accidentally spoil things, so we try not to look at those. But the Avatar stuff I totally look up because I've already seen it. And you guys have seen up to this point on the channel, so yay! The Ember Island players was so funny. Oh, was we funny. really enjoyed that last time. Yeah. Toph loved her character very oh. much. <laughs> Sonic Scream, oh, I just got a pretty good look at you. I love that, I know. And it's so and great to have so like a recap episode. I'm sorry, being so big yeah. and buff. <laughs> I know, that was great. Right she was so happy about that. <laughs> and then poor Katara, her character was oh butchered, God, you know. God. I'm so full of hope. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not really like that. Out. Yeah, and then you were right, Kim, like with the whole like slid up her kimono whoa, kind of yeah, thing, yeah, you know. Like, whoa, she had the... short shorts on, though, because at one point it was like way too high yeah, up. But yeah, but was. They had to like cover it a little bit, so I'm like, she can't like not have oh, anything on her. <laughs> Makeup, oh, yeah. cleavage, yeah, and, yeah, mm -hmm. and Sokka's funny. character was funny, and he was kind of close to Sokka. Like he, he resembled him pretty well. And he actually know? took yeah. his advice and said a couple of his jokes. Yeah, yeah kick a pow, right. slap yeah. kick a pow, whatever he said. <laughs> <laughs> and then poor Zuko, you know, he feels bad yeah, because yeah. he was making fun of his uncle, or his character was, and yeah, we still right. haven't seen Iroh at all. Well, so what the right. heck? Only four We're episodes left. Oh, He's gonna come save the day. Where is he? Where did he go? He's, Any clue? He's planning. He's, yeah, he's planning, planning where? Do you think he's in the Fire Nation? Totally. Oh, probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. So I think we'll find yeah. out. So Either this one's called. Grabbing other people. Mm, maybe. Mm -hmm. So this one's called the Phoenix King. Phoenix Ooh. King. What's a phoenix? Do you guys remember? Phoenix? We've seen it in Harry Potter. Yeah. There's it's like a falcon. Like, falcon, but yeah. It's like a fire bird. Like a fire, yeah. The, yeah. the ones that like get reborn, you know, when they oh, die. Mm -hmm. Remember Dumbledore had one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And when it dies, it comes back as a brand as new a bird. Phoenix, right? Yes, just like we watched on X Men. That's yes. Right. Yep, yes, that too. Yeah. See? Same like that. See, just like. Fire falcon, I'll call it then. Fire, Fire falcon. falcon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Phoenix King. Oh so it's going to be a fiery bird coming at him now. Aang will save the day. He'll save the world. Save the world. No pressure, Aang. <laughs> I know, because there's only four episodes left, and I know time is passing quicker, but we know some time has passed now, and hopefully Aang is really learning firebending. It looked like he yeah, was doing so. pretty good the last couple episodes. Yeah, so. Zuko was a great teacher, I think. Yeah, yeah right. after he learned how to do a more like peaceful yes. firebending. That's right. Yeah. Then, uh, you Getting know, Getting it better. from other energy. Right. Not Positive rage. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys ready? Ready. Ready. Wow, look at him go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Tiger Dillo. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 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 it's puffy. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> wow. wow. Don't wow. light the trees on fire. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Off, like he weighs nothing. Beach party. <laughs> Transition. Sock us. Look at her. Yeah, oh, wow. With yeah. surfboard. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What's he doing? A sandcastle? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Nej. Oh my god. Oh my word. <laughs> That's wow. pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh oh what does he have? Oh, that's what he did. <laughs> Job of the hut. Yeah, that's right. It does look like it. <laughs> it's Suki. Aww. Oh, Aww. <laughs> Who? Who did that? No, no, I'm blind. trying to get him, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. Like that. He gets dragged away. away. Yeah, okay. He's gonna get him to work he's out flies. today, no matter what. Right. Oh, see, so he wants he to. Wants to it. Kind of under he's a lot of pressure, kids. you know. Yeah. No, the house is gonna go on fire. Oh, oh, he's serious. Take it outside, kids. Ooh. Ring of fire. Oh, that's... Whoa. That's what daddy yeah. wants to hear. Yeah, that's what she <laughs> yeah, yes, excellent. That's for sure. <laughs> wow. Goodness. Oh, boy. He just... <laughs> So out of balance. Oh. There was no communication on both ends. That's yeah, right. I'd say. You gotta communicate. Yeah, for <laughs> teamwork. Oh, that's, oh, that's what he oh, needs. Oh, appetite. Oh, look at him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and you just yes. killed everybody. <laughs> so good. Oh, my gosh. Gotta get the confidence. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have it. Screw crow watermelon. Melon Lord. Melon Lord. <laughs> Sweetness. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh shit. <geez. laughs> yeah. Whoa. Melon <laughs> She's liking this too much. <laughs> Excellent. He can't. Well, that was fast. <laughs> mm, brave. Yeah, he's got to get this confidence Whoa. going. He sure does. The noise. Too pacifist. Gonna change his attitude. <laughs> oh, he's 
too optimistic. <laughs> My goodness. Never gets that angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like uh -oh, a kitty. I'll be here if you need me. That sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. Is he sleepwalking? He's going to wake up pretty soon. Oh, yeah. oh I guess not. What? Oh, what the heck? They'll find him with his footprints, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> See, no island. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, oh my god. The player. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> She's pouring it out oh, to him. The violin. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, get it. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> All this line. Ew. Because uh, you're the leader. <laughs> Boy, look at her pleasant self. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. That's all she cares about. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The flags are like overlapping the yes. fire nation. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's gonna spill her tea. Watch out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a dream. Yeah, no, it isn't. <laughs> well, maybe it was. But they can't see the island where he came, went to. It's a mystical land. Oh, come on. Come on! Why? Oh, boy, suspense here. It's <laughs> so bizarre. Yeah, yeah oh it tends. Gosh. The music in this is so different. You hear a lot of stringed instruments, and it's yeah. like on edge the entire time. Oh Almost giving yeah. you anxiety, you know? Oh All these strange yeah. things going yeah. on. So where is Aang right now? Yeah, because they can't see the island he saw. Yeah, they didn't see it, and you guys, I heard you say that, oh, well, I guess they can't see each other because he can't see the shore, and they can't see him. That's right. Right, oh, so God. what does that mean? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it again, I saw this. I don't want to lead you guys to think anything, so I just live in the moment of how I felt when I saw this. So I want you guys to have your own speculations on what you think is going on. So do you think it's a spirit world journey? He's seen spirits before, and usually it's out of body. 
I yeah. sometimes uh, when he I think spirit he world. is. It could be. Yeah. Saka said that his body would have to be around somewhere, like his whole physical form wouldn't yeah. be. In yeah, the spirit but world. maybe he went to the island first, and then I don't know. I and don't know. Then, then, All mysterious. There, but and Momo was there too. Yeah. So how did Momo go with him? Yeah. So you know? he can't be on one. So he might be in the physical world, he might not be, I don't know, but it's all weird. The whole thing also going on with Azula now, with her father. Oh, yeah. So now he's going to be the supreme phoenix king, mm -hmm. and she's going to be the fire alert. Oh, oh watch out. Gosh, yes, as soon as daddy sure. gets on that ship, oh, or those fleets, people. who knows what she's going to do yeah. to those people. Yeah. How she's going to be... You think she's going to leash out on the Fire Nation, or you think, like, she's I think she's going to be really mean to them. I think she's going to follow the plan, but be... <laughs> just not a good ruler? Yeah. Just mean to everybody? Yeah. She really wanted to go with her father. She's done everything by his side, pretty much, mm -hmm. and she was always favored by him, because, as we know, he does not like Zuko. We tried to kill him multiple times, and burned his face, banished him. He doesn't care, so he definitely favors Azula, and she's always been in that light. So now to kind of be in the shadow... And to be left behind, it sounds like she's really happy to be Fire Lord, but she really wanted to go with her father on this exactly. know, huge step to was, become I, the Phoenix King. I think she was okay was once... Like, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's okay. And it was her idea, too, she said to her father. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. She turned okay when she got a title. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You could see that, too. And the strings well, there, too. Stuff. Like, the strings like, were kind of, like, yeah. high-pitched there, where it was like, ooh, like, this is a tense moment on, oh, watch what you say to your dad, because she spoke out of turn. Oh, yeah. And Zuko did, too, but it was a different situation. But, yeah, like, right. Azula got really mad, and in front of everyone, she mm -hmm. just, like, lost her demeanor, and she was just, like, yelling right. at him like a temper tantrum. Like, she really just lost her cool, mm -hmm. and we've never seen that side of her, yeah. so... Exactly, and he just... Well, I had to say, like, calm yourself, you know? So that was a big deal for... Exactly, and he had a plan. He had it all ready, what title he was going to be, and he just... He already had that all thought out, yeah, because he had the banners ready and everything, and he had the whole, like, outfit, and... Yeah, so he was planning this for a while. Phoenix came now. He wants to be, yeah. He's very arrogant. He really thinks that he has it, and he wants to be the ruler of everything. He's going to take over the Earth Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wants to Which, not even yeah. just take it over. He wants to wipe Dibble, it all out, yeah, just like it. the Air Nation, you know, yeah. like killing, murdering all these innocent people. So, again, for a cartoon, that's pretty dark. That's yeah. not cool to... I'm smiling, but sorry, I just do that. No. But, but it is really yeah, dark is. Yeah. to actually do something like that. Yeah. Were you guys surprised? Terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. And were you guys surprised at the fact that they didn't tell Zuko that they were planning on waiting till after the comet? Like, this whole world does. Waiting really and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I can see why... why why he was Zuko got so mad yeah. and wanted him to train, you know, wanted him to come on, we got to get going here, you know. Yeah. Thing. And finally, he, it took that moment for yeah. them to say, you know, what they planned all along. Yeah. Yep. No communication. Yeah, and Zuko's been with the group for a little while now, mm -hmm. and, you know, he's been training Aang, and they do trust him to a certain extent now, but yeah. to not even tell him, I thought that was kind of shocking because. I know it's a huge decision, but he should definitely be a part of that decision oh, because he is for Aang killing his father, which is a huge right. thing to say, you know? Exactly. I mean, his father's an evil man, but I see what Aang is saying, too, because he doesn't want to kill anyone, and he's not fully trained yet, so he's not prepared, yeah. but like, I you can't can, not, yeah. not tell Zuko that. You yes, know? Right. and I can see not wanting to kill someone. Mm -hmm. However... This person is going to kill thousands of people. Yeah, and there's no thousands way. Thousands of people. You know, the whole Earth Kingdom is going to be killed. I mean, yeah. how can you not justify one killing for so many? I know, and that's like yeah. the and big debate. So it's so hard. true. And I, he is like a pure right. evil guy from what we've seen. You don't always know, like, the whole story kind of thing. But we know with Ozai, like, he is ruthless. He doesn't care. He wants right. power. Like, that's yeah. his main focus. And he doesn't care. He doesn't have compassion for other things, you know? Yes. And even his wife that was banished, the way yeah. he was mocking Zuko about his ex-wife, like... Not even yeah. caring. He didn't shed a tear. Like, when she was banished or when she ran away or whatever, like, yeah. I'm sure he didn't shed a tear for her because he didn't mm -hmm. care. He burned his son, probably oh, almost no. killed him by burning his face. And, you and know, you know so Azula's going person. down that same path where, you know, she puts fear into people like her best friends. That she and lost now. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. out of the picture, you know, but 
But yeah, she does. She instills fear into yeah. people and she loves it. She enjoys it. Like that's mm-hmm. what she's known through her father. She's totally following in her father's footsteps. So to try to figure out, do you want to kill this guy? Like, Ink definitely doesn't want to kill him. And he's a peaceful guy. He's a vegetarian, as we know. Right. And mm-hmm. he doesn't like to eat meat, but it's all like peaceful stuff. Like, mm-hmm. he is balanced. He wants to have everyone get along and to actually be violent and to attack someone and kill them. And he's never even had anything close to that. <laughs> Right. That's a huge step. And he can't even go to the Avatar state now, so he'll be in his own state where, yeah, you know, that's, I think that's even harder. He hasn't mastered it, yeah. And I meant to say before, during the Ember Island players, you guys caught on with the fact that when he got mad at Katara when they were talking on the balcony, Mm -hmm. and when he said, if I didn't block my chakra, we wouldn't be in this mess right now, and it was totally... Kind of like a, she didn't get it because she didn't know what happened, yeah. but his chakra was blocked because of her. Yeah, you know because he decided that she was more important than learning the Avatar mm-hmm. state. So I thought that was kind of like a jab <laughs> at that point. I was like, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so he yeah. doesn't know how to go into the Avatar state. It was blocked. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And speaking of that, I love the detailing in this, and I know you noticed like Angsel has like the marking on his back, yes. the scar, yeah. and then when he did some kind of move to Zuko, I noticed this time that he had it on his foot too because it oh. went through his, you know, like lightning mm-hmm. and it goes right. through. Sometimes something. they make sure you see it when they have his cloth down more yeah. and yeah, so, yeah. see. Yeah. But I like how they pay attention to yes. that too. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool yeah. forever scar that he's constantly yeah. gonna be reminded of that Azula did to him. Will he kill Ozai? Will he get the courage to do it? Will they I don't find even know him if it's courage? Yeah. <laughs> Will they find okay. him in time? Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> like to be <laughs> continued. <laughs> it's like the last Maybe three episodes. He, made, um, <laughs> he just ran away again uh, hundred years and later. I, wrote, so. I have a feeling he's at the Earth Kingdom now. Yeah? Okay. I hope so, yeah. Because the Earth Kingdom is one of the biggest kingdoms around. I think it's like the biggest element in this world, right? So Mm -hmm. he's going to take out a lot of freaking people. Because he already took over Ba Sing Se. So for him to be like, we're just going to take everyone out, they're defenseless pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's pretty messed up. Mm -hmm. I think you guys recognize June. Yes. From the first season. Yeah. She that had that great big that mold. That's great made the gang go there and reach out for her help. Because mm-hmm. okay. she had that tracker mold yes. thing, that huge creature, remember? It was blind, yeah, yeah. and it had the big tongue, and it would yes. go out, and yeah. it would numb you or paralyze you, right. well, you know, yeah. temporarily. Ira was hitting on her. I forgot about that. Remember? Oh, <laughs> Because, yes. like, her mole thing, like, hit him, and then he got numb, and he fell over, oh and he God. acted like, oh, no, yes, or to, him, to her. That's yeah. right. Her. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And then he acted like he got hit, and he was like, oh, no, <laughs> and just, like, <laughs> laid on her, and she was like, oh, my God. And he was smiling. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. So how funny would that be if Ira was there, and he was like, whoops, yeah. retirement. Yeah. yeah. Working in the back. <laughs> I just worked out just to yeah. be here, you know? It's like, now you miss me. Yeah. But yeah, pour you some tea. Yeah. You guys like this episode? It was good. Yeah, I like it. I'm just yeah. you know, want to see more. Bewildered now. about yeah. Ang and yeah. where is he? On. There's so was many he questions. In, was you he, know? he sleepwalking? Was I know he, that was weird because even going through the water, he was, was swimming. So was, was, he was it dreaming all this? Because for him to actually oh, go gosh. through the water like that too, he would have to wake up. So oh. it was some kind of strong trance. There was something yeah, going something, on there yeah. that's like. Who knows? I don't know. But but to see him get so angry at his friends like that and walk right. away, because he's never done that before, but now the pressure's really yeah, on even yeah. more so than it's ever been. And That's he right. already like prepared himself that, oh, I can do this after the comet. And now they're like, no, now you have to do it in three days or so, or two days. So there's a lot of pressure there. So he's just very upset, and it's a lot to take in. Like, what can you do? What can you do? You know, and I thought he would be him. prepared from last time trying to attempt to, you know, do something. You know, you yeah. think he'd still be in that state yeah. of, you know, I have to do this. It's something that I have to do for the world. So, but. And, yeah, I know you're right. Like, you think you would still be like that. But mm-hmm. I'm just thinking because a little time has passed, but he probably just let his guard down where he wasn't so prepared anymore, thinking like, oh, we'll just do it afterwards, so it's fine. But, yeah, even before that, like, when he did go into the invasion, did he ever say that he wanted to kill him? or was no. No, but he was, but how was more he going to prepared him, mentally. You, know? yeah. you see more prepared mentally. Then. Yeah, because before he would talk about defeating the Fire Lord, but I don't think he's ever mentioned killing him. I think maybe Zuko instilled, like, yeah, you 
actually have to kill him. You can't yeah. just yeah. knock him out and be like, we're going to talk some sense into you yeah, and make right. you see things our way, that people are important. It's not about power. And he'll be like, yeah, I'll redeem myself. It's all good. Right. So I'm curious what you guys have to say, because I don't think at that point he really thought about killing him. I thought maybe he thought about imprisoning him or something. But Maybe. I don't know. But you would think just that thinking in the with moment. Zuko's mind frame and telling him, no, you have to kill my father. Yes, now he's saying that. But right. during the invasion, yes. you know, they weren't friends but yet. But now so. when he's saying it, no, you have to do this. And this is, you know, this is vital. Yes. Yeah. I think the pressure was really on when someone's actually telling him, no, you have to. Yeah. yeah so now he's realizing this is for real. Like I have yeah. to actually murder someone and it's kind of messed up. And for Zuko, honestly, I get it where he's coming from, but like to actually be calm about it and be like, you have to take him out. I know that would hurt Zuko too, because no matter how messed up his father is, it's still his, his dad. Father, yeah. But for him to really understand that and be cool about it, be like, no, you got to do this. You have to be able to defeat him. You yeah, have but to his kill dad him also too. tried to kill him. So. Yeah, exactly. Right. I exactly. mean, so there's yeah. there's a couple of, you know, variables in there where, you know, I totally understand where Zuko's coming from mm -hmm. as far as his father's being a monster and he's going to murder many people. Right. Yeah. And for Just to even, like, think that way and be so happy, like, you're doing such a great thing to cleanse the yeah. world. Like, that is so messed such up. such a selfish so power. Nice. Yeah. Sure. And again, by Mark yeah. Hamill, Ozai's voiced by Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker. I love that. that. I love to remind you guys. Yes. I keep hearing that now. I keep oh, trying to wow. be like, but he's such a good voice actor. He's done a lot of things now in yeah. cartoons, and I love hearing him I in this. Him. That's so cool. But <laughs> yeah, so as messed up as Ozai is, I like him as a character. I think he's a really good villain. You know, he's a straightforward villain, and he just yes, has yes, that yes. whole focus of taking over. I like him as a villain over Azula. Azula's like, ugh, yeah, it's too yeah, overpowering. It's too. Yeah, I think she's a good villain, but yeah. Yeah, like she's so bratty, yes. you know. Right. Yes, I Where, agree. Yeah, but she is a good villain, though. She's like so good at firebending and everything. But like, yeah, like she's kind of bratty in a way. Yeah. And then Ozai's just like full on power way. bulldozer, kind of yes. like knocking down people. And right, she's just clear to the point and whiny. She like she's not really whiny. And then she's snotty and yeah, yeah maybe snotty. Yeah. <laughs> maybe she just reminds me of like. Although I was All always good in high school, I was always. Yeah, I was always good in school, but like sure. I never had any bullies or anything. But I just see her as like a bully from oh, school yeah, or something. You know? I mean, a very bully. sadistic bully. You know, yeah. I would kill people. Yeah. She was gonna kill her Go friends down before. Your flight of stairs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. You know, I hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Take the phone away too. No one will know you're down there. <laughs> but yeah, so very good episode. There's three more after this. Uh -huh. The Melon Lord. Oh, oh, the melon lore was hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Again, I saw this, so I'm trying not to, like, say anything, because I do really yeah. love this show. I haven't seen it in a while, so now, like, reliving it with you guys, I'm like, oh, and I want to, like, joke yeah. about the melon lore. I'm like, don't say anything, don't say anything. And, but that was funny. Toph got really excited about That's that. Right, yeah. <laughs> she was liking it a little bit too much. Yes, I, I know, she's lighting the box on fire, you know, because <laughs> I guess, like, Zuko made these wow. fire kits for her, and the Atara on the box. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you almost got me, Toph. Like, ha I'm not Toph, I'm the melon lore. <laughs> yeah, I love the mix with humor too. They're always so yeah. great with that. Yes. They had a lot of funny moments with Toph where she was like a little bit more cartoony, and I kept thinking of Charlie Brown. I don't know, like because oh, she had yeah, a big yeah. mouth okay, yeah. a lot. And I was like, that's yeah. really funny. And how she wanted to cling on to Zuko. I know oh he was God. blushing. A journey with you. He's probably not used to a girl <laughs> just like <laughs> lopping him like that. You know, just like okay, oh it's true. Like she didn't have a full episode dedicated to her and Zuko. Like yeah. everyone else did. We had Sokka that's and right. Katara. Like they all had a full episode sure. with him or two. It was funny. Yeah. There was one last thing I wanted to mention too because sometimes I either forget to say it or I read the comments a little later on from The Boiling Rock which is so true. It would have made perfect sense to tell Katara and to tell Toph and Aang what Zuko and Sokka were planning when they went to The Boiling Rock because it was Sokka's plan, but there was no reason to keep it secret, really. It would have been way easier to break oh, people yeah. out. Because oh, here, time. That was Tom, a huge yeah, I guess like here Tom is a metal bender, so she could have just like broke through saying, everything. Really? Yeah. And then Katara yeah. could have figured something out with the boiling with water. The boiling water. Yeah, we did joke about that, though, at one point. Yeah, it is yeah. true, because we're like, like they should have been optimal yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, that would have been optimal. Yeah. So I'm glad you guys brought that up. So thank you for that. And no, that I was just mess. laughing, but they needed to have like something powerful with Sokka and Zuko and going through this whole ordeal together, yeah. which was still a great two-parter. It was, yeah. yeah. But it would have been cool to have Katara and yeah. Toph there, yeah. at least. Yeah. And A, Definitely. but he hasn't yeah. practiced firebending. Which it would have been fun when Toph and that 
other prisoner. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know they probably want to get along really well too. That would have been fun. <laughs> So I think we'll end it there. Really good episode. Can't wait to watch more. Oh my God, only three left. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon as always. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. I liked your sand, Appa. Sand, Appa.